Hey, hey, everybody. The Doc here. Reading a little bulletin here from a new sport from New York City. And it seems that uh, Mr. R. Kelly is now, has been arrested again. On sex trafficking charges. Apparently he was arrested by uh, NYPD detectives and people from the Homeland Security Investigation Team. Now here's the whole, I'm going to read the whole story here uh, according to this news report from my tablet here. <clears throat> Singer R. Kelly has been arrested in Chicago on federal sex crime charges including according to two law enforcement officials. The 52-year-old singer was arrested by NYPD detectives and Homeland Security agents this today, Thursday, July 11th, on sex trafficking charges. Officials tell Fox News 4 that it's expected that he would be brought back to New York to face arraignment charges, I believe. Further details on this case are to be expected this coming Friday, which of course is tomorrow. Now, spokespeople from both the uh, Homeland Security Investigations and the NYPD declined to comment on this arrest and calls to the U.S. Attorney in Brooklyn were not immediately returned. Of course, they're not going to say nothing for the time being unless they will get it all straightened out on what to do here. they got to figure out um, what he's going to be charged with and other things. They'll have to make an announcement probably Friday. Now, attempts to contact a spokesman for R. Kelly were not successful. And the singer's ex-wife, Drea Kelly, D-R-E-A, had no, has no comment following the arrest, her representative said. The R&B star, whose real name is Robert Kelly, has been the subject of different sexual abuse allegations for nearly two decades. Some of these acts dating back to 1998. Back this past February, R. Kelly was charged with aggravated sexual abuse involving four women, three of who were minors when this abuse occurred. He has pleaded not guilty and was released from Chicago's Cook County Jail after posting bail. In 2008, a jury acquitted him of child pornography charges stemming from a video showing him having sex with an underage girl as young as 13 and also pissing on her as well. I guess it's, um, we all know it's a sexual fetish people have, sometimes have. Gross. Prosecutors claimed at that time that Kelly faced it 15 years in prison for that charge, but the young woman in that claim denied it was her and did not testify. Now, with this being uh, brought up, no doubt the mute R. Kelly hashtags or fuck R. Kelly hashtags that are out that's been out this past February are going to multiply. Without a question, his career is over. Alongside the little jokes that people make about it, you know, there was a few uh, jokes that I brought up on uh, Monetize This this past Friday which I also plan on uh, being part of tomorrow night as well. But I just want, you know, I think right, right now it, it would be wise 
not to play any of his music on the radio. You know, and any acts that produce it, his, that's been produced by this guy, it's probably best, you know, not to play those tracks as well. Including this song that I was a big admirer of. It's a track called Jahim. It was written and uh, produced by Car Kelly. I remember it was played on the various uh, R&B um, contemporary stations late at night when they have one of those smooth, you know, songs, you know. A couple of jazz um, stations played it as well. I remember hearing the, that song on a couple of jazz stations back in Michigan. But, you know, uh, I think right now it's probably best not to play any of his songs right now. Because, you know, it's it's going to give everybody a mass amount of uncomfortableness. It's like, um, back in, um, let's say you, you're a young girl, you're a young boy. You used to love R. Kelly's music. You would go to prom and listen to his music on the being played. You and your sweetheart would dance the night away. You would solo dance whenever he sang uh, either um, Honey Love or um, I Believe I Can Fly. His most iconic of all songs. Or that one song he uh, duetted with, with Celine Dion about I'm Your Angel, I think it was called. Now, as an adult, you hear about all these charges, all these accusations leveled against him. You still listen to this, those same songs that you used to back then? And especially with the um, Surviving R. Kelly documentary or documentary series that, was, that aired on the Lifetime Network back this past February. That's what started uh, this whole stuff, by the way. Hearing those uh, women um, speak about what crazy shit the guy was into and stuff, you know. Knowing the fact that um, any penny you spend on Amazon.com or Bandcamp, you know, to purchase the guy's music or his albums... Knowing the fact that you're supporting a sexual predator. How would um, it feel? How are those people feeling right now? Myself, I was never a real big R. Kelly fan. I never was. If given a chance between R. Kelly and uh, Luther Vandross, most definitely I would take Luther. Well, all I can say is, you know, let's wait and see what happens. You know. But I think probably um, this may be the end of the road for the guy. I really do. I'm Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Take care, people.